uh, they will run out of food within days, just like the average American. Their their food arrives on those bases every two every two or three days on tractor trailers, just like the rest of the world. So they're going to be without food. They're going to be without power. Uh, they're t- a lot of times they're septic and their water come from offsite, come from the nearby town. None of that's going to function. Uh, they have told Congress that if we lose civilian electric grid, they will be unable to respond to war or for uh, societal collapse and helping out. So all these movies you see with people, you know, box trucks passing out MREs, none of that is ever going to happen. So circling back real quick to my time at the EDTF, uh, what you need to be aware of is there is zero plan at FEMA to deal with a national grid down event from this kind of an event. There is zero plan at the United States government uh, to deal with the aftermath of a long-term grid down event. And there is zero plan at the United States military to deal with this kind of event. And that's really important to understand is that this is a, this is a subject that has been proven by test data for 40, 50, 60 years since the starfish prime experiments. And the EMP commission warned Congress in 2004 that 90% of the American people would be dead within a year. Uh, if this was, if this was not addressed and the electric grid was not hardened and our high voltage transformers were not protected. And uh, on top of that, Hey y'all, I need y'all to subscribe and smash that like button.